Hey, it's Nathan McCurry's Marketing.com. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Advantage Campaign Budget option available within the Facebook or Meta Ads Manager. Now, what Advantage Campaign Budget does is let you set the budget at the campaign level, and then Facebook will automatically optimize your budget across your different ad sets within that campaign, delivering you the best results possible across your various ad sets. So basically, instead of setting the budget at the ad set level, you set it at the campaign level, and Facebook will push the money to the ad set and ads that are performing the best. So let's go ahead and hop straight into it. I'm gonna go ahead and create a brand new campaign. And typically you wanna use the Advantage Campaign Budget option with a conversion-based campaign. So something like leads or sales would be ideal. However, the option is available with all the campaign objectives. But I'm gonna go ahead and select sales in this example and we'll click on continue. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set up a manual sales campaign as well and continue. And if we scroll on down here, you should see the option for Advantage Campaign Budget. Now, if you've been advertising on Facebook for a little while, you might have heard of Campaign Budget Optimization. And that is the same exact thing as Advantage Campaign Budget. And we'll read the little description right here. So Advantage Campaign Budget will distribute your budget across currently delivering ad sets to get more results depending on your performance goal choices and bid strategy. You can control spending on each ad set. And you can click on learn more if you wanna read the official Facebook guidance on Advantage campaign budget but we're gonna go ahead and turn this on now and so now you can see that you can set your budget at the campaign level so we're setting a campaign budget there's daily and lifetime just like if you're setting your budget at the ad set level and I have a video on the difference between a daily budget or a lifetime budget but the general idea is if you're doing an evergreen ad campaign do daily budget if you're doing a campaign that has a set lifespan, like you know it's gonna be a two or three week long campaign, then you would go ahead and select the lifetime budget. But link in the description down below if you wanna learn more about these two options. I'm just gonna select daily budget because it doesn't really matter for our particular example. And then we can go ahead and set our daily budget amount for our entire campaign. And the default is $20 and that's fine for this example. Then we have campaign bid strategy and we can click on edit over here. And the default option is highest volume. And that one means that you get the most results for your budget. So this is probably what you're gonna select as you probably want the most results for your budget, right? Makes some sense. Now there's three other options as well. Cost per result goal, ROAS goal, which you can use if you have values associated with your different goals. I don't, so this option's not available for me. And then there's also a bid cap right here. And some of these sound like they would be useful. However, I find that if you try and constrain Facebook, like you say you only wanna spend $10 on a conversion, well, sometimes it takes a little while for a campaign to get going. And so the first few conversions might cost you, you know, $30, $20, $15, and trickling on down until it hits your goal as a campaign optimizes and all that other type of stuff. But if you set a constraint on Facebook, well, if it doesn't start getting getting you that goal right away, then it might limit itself and then your ads might not run at all. So I'd be very careful in doing anything that limits Facebook. Even though it sounds good, you might constrain it too much and your ads won't actually run. So highest volume is probably the best option for you. Then there's the option for budget scheduling. And so you can go ahead and tell Facebook to increase your budget during certain time periods. And I'm gonna open this real quick, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So we can click try budget scheduling or increase your budget during specific time periods. Both options will show you the same thing right here. So maybe if you're running a campaign and you're running down to the last couple days of it running, you could go ahead and turn this on for like the last three days. So let's say that my campaign is going from February 8th all the way to the 24th. The 24th will be my last day. So maybe like the last couple days, so maybe the 21st over through the 24th, I'd wanna go ahead and increase my daily budget amount by maybe $5, for example. Or you could also change it by percent. So you could increase your daily budget by a certain percent. And if you decide you don't wanna do that, you could remove the period. Or if you wanna add another time period, you could just click that option and have multiple time periods where your budget increases for a set amount of time. But I'm gonna go ahead and remove this option because I'm not actually doing that. And we can turn it off like that. Now let's head over to the ad set level because there are a couple options over here as well. So of course, go ahead and set up your conversion and all that type of stuff, but we're gonna get down to the budget and schedule section. So you could go ahead and set a schedule for this particular ad set. So if you wanted to start and end at a different time than the campaign, you could go ahead and do that. And there's budget scheduling. And if you click on this option, it brings you back to the campaign level. Or you could go ahead and set up your budget scheduling right here because the budget is set at the campaign level. And let's go back to the ad set real quick and we'll scroll back down here. So there's also the ad set spending limits. So you could add an ad set spending limit right here. So sometimes you might find that Facebook picks an ad set like really quick, like within the first couple hundred impressions, like Facebook's like, okay, this ad set is the winner. And then it doesn't even like test out your other ad sets. 
So one way to kind of like force Facebook to test out your other ad sets would be to set a daily minimum budget on your particular ad set. So for only spending $20 a day, let's say we have two ad sets, we might want to set like a minimum of $5 per ad set. So that way Facebook is at least showing both ad sets for like $5 worth of impressions. So that way you can actually get enough data to see which ad set is better or worse than the other. And once you do have enough data and you can see clearly which ad set is the best performer, you can come back in here and you know turn this minimum off. So that way Facebook pushes all the funds to the best ad set that you have. Additionally, you could go ahead and set a daily maximum. So maybe you only want the ad set to spend you know upwards of $15 per day. So that way it could give other ad sets a chance to run. So kind of a similar concept to the daily minimum, but just a different way to approach it. And you can see right here that I'm getting a warning that I set a daily maximum budget of $15. However, my campaign budget is $20 a day. So there's a $5 mismatch right there. Now, if I create another ad set, so let me just go ahead and duplicate this real quick. And now if I come back down here, I can see that I'm not receiving that error anymore because I have a $15 maximum on this ad set right here and then a $15 maximum on my copyright here so a $30 maximum which is enough to cover my campaign budget which is only $20 and so that's pretty much all the settings for the advantage campaign budget option hopefully you found this video helpful if you did I appreciate it source of likes comments subscribes and or check out crazymarketing.com and I hope you have a great rest of the day